this was leaving Sydney and uh, right below our cabin we had the uh, pilot boat. The, uh, the seas were quite high so uh, quite skillfully get beside the, the boat and in a moment you'll see the, the pilot uh, get off and uh, this was a bonus for us and it was still windy and rainy but uh, this, was, this was a good shot There he is, there's two of them, yeah. Thank you! <laughs> there they go. Afternoon, Channel 4, Colonel Twang on the Crystal Symphony. What a wonderful cruise line! Uh, unbelievable. All the uh, all inclusive, uh, all the all your booze is free. Incredible. Right now, I'll show you where. 50 miles off the Queensland coast inside the Great Barrier Reef and we're going to be docking in Palms tomorrow uh, kind of a bit of a, a cock up because the, uh, the, the fuel is the bunker in an hour longer so we left an hour away from Sydney at 6 o'clock and they've got these um, cards, which they should have. I mean, come on, they should have known about them. But they're saying that the strong winds and the currents, instead of getting in at uh, 10 o'clock in the morning, we're going to get in at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. But it's messed up the uh, all the short stretches. I'll show you inside the cabin anyway. It's pretty incredible. Okay, I'll switch this around. There's a view from our balcony, and we're about 55 miles off the coast of Queensland, inside the Great Barrier Reef. And just walking inside the cabin here, stateroom. Got a king size, king size bed, and all the all the booze you want. I got myself a bottle of Bailey's, Absolute, all the Heineken I want, and pretty, pretty incredible. So there you go. We're very lucky that we uh, ended up on this cruise. So, Colonel Plank, Channel 4 News, signing out. Yeah, we were, we had yeah, to. We, we were
of course, as you can imagine, this is a crocodile infested water, so I do need you to pay attention and to abide by all the rules if you could, please. You will come back alive. The first thing is about a life jacket under each person's seat. Now, you see they're bright orange and they um, regularly fit around your neck and then tie up around your stomach. The biggest downfall we have with all of that, of course, they are bright orange, and would you believe it, crocodiles are attracted to bright colours. So we always suggest throw the um, jacket at them and swim as fast as you can the other way. <laughs> or either sacrificing somebody with a bright orange shirt on. Oh, oh my God. There we go. There you <laughs> we won't go. sacrifice you, sir. You're okay. But all jokes aside, the biggest um, issue we have here, the biggest issue we have here is body parts outside the vessel. You must refrain from putting anything out past these bars, both your camera, your head, your hand, your elbow. These fellows can react 40 times faster than what you can. They can whip around to their tail and attack before you can blink. So I'll be feeding them up the front on both sides and we'll alternate sides so everybody gets a fair viewing. I'd ask you not to come in behind me just because I have a rogue croc that wants to take me for dinner. I need to get back to the controls and so forth. So I'll ask you um, to just keep everything inside, even after I've fed him. Yeah. Having a look to see where he went is not a good option. We've often got them under the water where you can't see them. It's not the one we're looking at, it's the one that you can't see. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. Yeah. That'd be good, actually. What are you doing now? Is he still there? He's right down in the back corner looking at everyone, so don't put your head over to have a look or your eyes will Yeah, there he is. Oh, there, he's underneath. There's two of them. Oh, yeah. the other one. Oh, oh, too slow. Too slow. Too slow. Did you get the hook on that? It's a double. I'm sorry, I keep back in the left. Please, you have to go back that side. Thank you. I'm sorry. There's a thick boy. Alright, come on Archie. Come and do this. Come on. So this fella's around about four and a half metres long, folks, and probably around about 45 years of age. Is that all? Now he's missing the top of his snout from another crocodile attack. Watch. Here he comes. Most common injuries. There he is. That they cause to each other is the loss of snouts, the ends of tails. There he goes. Whoa. Now it's a little bit hard with this fella to jump, he does weigh around about 600 kilos. Sir, she will do it also on this side, please have a seat. You know what? She will do it on this side as well, sir. You do not want to flip over the boat. It's not even missing. Now he's not jumping very high, he's never been much of a jumper this fellow, he's missing legs and tails and all sorts of horrific injuries. Keep, keep, keep your fingers in. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we're not getting too close. Yeah, 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 we know. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Yeah, I know. Stuart, put yourself in. He's dippy. Huh? Oh, there he is. Oh, that's, a, that's a great shot, Sidney. That's a great shot. <laughs> you can't complain now. <laughs> You're going that way, to the left. Going away, around the boat, front. Drop my iPhone. Got that in. Did that in? Did you? Come on, please. Can you do one jump on this? Because we don't need to overwork it. We have my. No, you get. No, everything's good. Everything's good. Just need the crocodile to start doing this thing. 
coming round. Here he comes. Here he comes. Watch him. There we go. That's the shot. That's the shot. I know, oh, it doesn't matter about that. Missed him. Come on, you know you want that pig's head. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh. Let me know if my phone is away. It's not. Yeah, I at some point you let him eat it or did you just tease him a little bit? That was it. That was it. That was the shot.